DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're gonna to be doing a 20 minute full body strength training workout. So for this workout, we're gonna go through 18 exercises in total for just one set each. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, we have no extended breaks. For this workout, what we're gonna do is kind of group our muscles together in sets of two. So we're gonna do two leg exercises, two chest exercises, two back exercises, and so on, just like that, so we can really focus on pumping those muscles up. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're gonna go into is body weight squat. So, feet about shoulder width apart, have your weight in your heels as we drop down, back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Here we go, a couple seconds. All right, dropping down, coming up. Remember, chest out, head up, just like that. If you come down and you look down, you're gonna wanna bend that lower back. We don't want that. There we go, nice and easy. Starting to work into some full reps here. Let's get one more. Right, we got alternating lateral lunges, so nice and wide, dropping down to one side, coming up, switching sides. There we go. Nice and easy here, just a warm up. Let's get one more. There we go, We're going to alternating toe touch to bring the feet in just a little bit, dropping down, coming up. There we go, if you want, you can have your knees with a slight bend or you can have them straight, either one's fine. Try to keep the lower back nice and straight here if you can. There we go. We got arm swing, so swinging forwards and backwards here. Nothing crazy, just trying to loosen it up. Don't forget to breathe. All right, going to chest opener, so slight bend in the elbows here. There we go. Kind of stretching the chest and the back out here. Next, we got squatting lateral taps. So we're gonna drop down, just come out to each side, just like that. Nice and easy. Try to drop it a little lower. This gets too tough, you can always stand further up, that's fine. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. We got RDLs coming up first. So what we're gonna do is grab our dumbbells, slight bend in the knees here, bending at the hips, chest out, head up, coming up, back down. Here we go. So 40 second working times, 20 second breaks. Make sure to keep that head looking out as you come down. That way that back stays nice and straight. Because if you look down, the back's gonna wanna bend like that. We don't want that. Here we go, good controlled movements. Stretching the hamstrings out, coming back up. So sink the butt back. Dumbbell stay close to the legs. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. We got sumo squats coming up next. You can use one or two dumbbells for this. Either one's fine. I'm gonna keep my dumbbells right here. What we're gonna do, get the feet nice and wide, point the toes at like 11 and one, 10 and two from here, drop down, come up. Here we go. Dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, coming up. Make sure to keep those knees pushed out as we push up. When we come up, we don't wanna have the knees buckling in like that, nope. When our knees staying out, chest out, head up. Keep the back nice and straight. There we go. Drop down a little further. Ooh, yeah. That changes the game. Oh, come on. Ooh. 
Woo, there we go. We got push-ups coming up. If you can't do push-ups, you can do a chest press. I'm gonna do push-ups here. I'm actually gonna do push-ups on my dumbbells. So if you wanna do them on your dumbbells, you can. Let me get mine in order right here. Here we go. All right, coming down and up. Down and up. Here we go, inhale as we bend the arms. Exhale as we extend the arms. There we go. If you need to, if it gets too tough and you're on your toes, you can always drop down in the knees. That's fine. If you're on your knees, it might be best to not use the dumbbells. So then if you're on your hands right here and it gets too tough, what you can do, drop down onto the chest for one, two count, push back up like that. Oh, we're gonna do wide push-ups here. So I'm gonna dish the dumbbells now. I like doing them on the dumbbells because I can get a Granger range of motion to really stretch out the chest when I come down. So this time, hands out nice and wide. I'm gonna try for as many as I can on my toes. Here we go, so hands a little wider. Coming down and up. Down. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. Let's go, come on. You got it. Breathe. Here we go. We got front squats coming up. So for front squats, we can use one or two dumbbells. If you have two dumbbells, you're gonna hold it in the rack position, just like this. A single dumbbell, you can kind of hold it in the front like here. Feet a little closer together, dropping down, coming up. So dropping down, coming up. Keep the back nice and straight here. Chest out, head up. Try to drop down as far as you can. Come on. You got this. Here we go. Good reps right there. All right, we got alternating lateral lunges coming up. Again, one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna go for two here. Feet a little wider. Kind of same setup as sumo squats. Put my dumbbells right here. Dropping down, one side. Coming down, back up, switch sides. Oh. Chest out, head up. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go. Here you go, push it. Come on. Let's go. Good stuff right there. All right, we got rows, left side coming up. So for this one, our palm is facing towards our body. I'm gonna take my elbow, put it on my knee. If you want, you can do your hand like that. Here we go, coming up and down. Up and down. Come on. We're pulling up somewhere around the waist and the belly button. All the way down, feel it stretch out. All the way up, squeeze. There we go. Come on. Come on. 
we go. All right, this time, changing up just a little bit. We're gonna do a reverse grip row, left side. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our palm facing out away from us, elbow stays tucked to the body. We're gonna pull it to back by the hip here. So this time we can feel it right here. Here we go, so up and back like that. Pulling up and backwards. Up and back. We should really feel it right here. Come on. Here we go. Good controlled reps here. Come on, a couple more. Let's get one more. All right, we're switching to the right side here. Same thing, rows and then reverse grip rows. I got the sweat going on now. So regular rows here, five seconds. Here we go. Come up, squeeze, all the way down. Up, squeeze, all the way down. Oh, come on. Push it out. There we go. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, exhale when you're pulling it up. Inhale when you're bringing it back down. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Reverse grip row this time. Remember, palm facing out, elbow tucked to the body. I got my sweat dripping perfectly into my glasses every single time here. Here we go. Let's get ready. Reverse grip rows, right side. Palms facing out, pulling up and back. Up and back. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You got it. Let's go. Ah, keep pushing. Don't forget to breathe. Ah, good quality reps. Last one. Ah. Here we go. All right, we got bicep curls coming up. Let me adjust my weight real quick. So, palms facing out away from us here. Coming up. Back down, up, back down. Make sure to keep your elbows by your sides right here. We don't want our elbows swinging back or coming forward doing that business. If you need to also, you can alternate left and right. Just like that. One more. Push it out. There we go. One more. All right, we got hammer curls. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Shouldn't be easy. This time, palms face each other the entire time. Here we go. Coming up. Back down. Up, back down. Again, if it gets too tough, left, right. Just like that. Come on, push it out. We gotta dig deep here. Oh yeah. It's burning. That's what we're here for. Let's go. One more. 
Ah, there we go. Woo. All right. We got Sphinx push ups coming up. If you can't do Sphinx push ups, I want you to do Cobra push ups. I'll show you both. So, Sphinx push ups, elbows down right here, plank position. Then we're going to push up onto the hands, drop back down nice and slow. It's kind of just tap on the elbows, come back up. Just like that. If you can't do that, that's fine. You're going to do Cobras. Put the hands up under the chest, elbows close to the body, pushing up, coming down. Pushing up, coming down. Just like that. Trying to keep the hips almost on the ground here. There we go. All right, we got lying tricep extensions here. So, for these, dumbbell on each side of you. Oh shoot, I forgot I had that. I'm gonna be a little late to the party here because of this. <laughs> here we go. So, on our back here, hands up, come down, tap, back up. Here we go. Good controlled movements. If this gets too difficult, what you can do is when you come here, let the dumbbells touch, pull the elbows down, press up, coming down. A little cheat, tricep extension right there. Help you keep getting reps. Here we go. Whew. All right, we're going into a little bit of abs right here. So, let me get back real quick. We got reverse crunch holds. If you can get the hold, great. If you can't, it is what it is. So, hands up under the butt, feet out, coming up. Try to get the hips up off the ground right here. Hold it for a couple seconds. Come back down. Up, squeeze, squeeze. Back down. Up, squeeze. There we go. Is this a little too tough? Come here. Back up. Right here. Exhale when you bring those knees up. Hold, hold. Make sure you're not using the triceps and arms to kind of push you up. Right there. We don't want that. Here we go. Oh, we're going to do Russian twists here. If you want to use a dumbbell, you can. Or a weight, you can. That's fine. So what we're going to do here is lean back a little bit. Rotate side to side. Make sure to look where you're rotating to. Here we go. Leaning back. Tap. 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 Make it a little tougher. Lean further back. You can put the feet up. Just like that. If you want to make it a little easier, feet back down, sit straighter up. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Oh yeah, burn those abs up. Come on. Keep going. Here we go. All right, we got shoulder press and then lateral raises. I'm gonna use a little heavier on shoulder press, go lighter on lateral raises. So shoulder press, what we're gonna do here, curl our dumbbells up, palms facing out away from us. Here we go. Pushing up, coming down. Pushing up, coming down. Make sure that our elbows are slightly in front of our shoulders. They're not back here pressing. They're here pressing. Just like that. Here we go. Come on. If you need to, you can left and right. Also, if you need to, drop down at the knees, explode, slowly lower. Here we go. 
Uh, here we go. We got lateral raises and we're done. I'm going to go a little bit lighter here. You should be going light too. You should not be doing the same way for lateral raises as for shoulder press. So slide in the elbows here, coming out, back down. Here we go. Coming out and uh, out and uh, nice and easy here. Let's go. It gets a little tough. You can try to bend the elbows at a 90, keep them bent at a 90, or you can just alternate left and right. That's fine too. Good controlled movements. One more. There we go. Way to go. We are finished. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.